Hi everyone, I am Dhruv Varoda and thanks for tuning in. Just recently, one of our buyers, he asked us to deliver an MTD UAV with a Sequoia multi-spectral camera. So this is the uh, Sequoia that we received from our buyer. Uh, honestly, it is much smaller than what I expected it to be. In any case, uh, you know, so we did this for the first time and uh, I'll share some details with you how we did it. Uh, as you all know, the Sequoia multispectral sensor captures both visible and invisible uh, images providing calibrated data to optimally monitor the health of your crops. So normally, as you all know, it is being used for agriculture purpose, you know, for monitoring the crops and everything. So according to the official document of Sequoia, it helps to identify the problem areas in the field. It helps you in refining the fertilization, optimizing the uh, pesticide input, controlling the crop irrigations, and also estimate the crop yield. So, uh, I mean, uh, I will be taking some images. I'll be testing the data. I'll do it here. So since we have a lot of vegetation around this uh, testing field of ours. So, you know, this is like the main Sequoia uh, spectral sensor, which is supposed to face down like that. And the other is the sunshine sensor, which is supposed to face up. So we have mounted it on the nose of our MTD and it is going to face skywards. Uh, they both are interconnected with the cable uh, which is provided by the Parrot uh, company and uh, we are powering it through a uh, uh, 5 volt uh, 3 ampere back. So using the Sequoia is fairly straightforward. With one click you take a single shot, with two clicks you enable or disable the shots, uh, with four clicks you enable or disable the Wi-Fi and with long press you will switch on, uh, you will be able to switch off the Sequoia. So after connecting your uh, laptop with the Sequoia through Wi-Fi, you open your browser and type in this IP address, press enter. So we'll get this screen. So this is the capture mode. So this is for a single shot. This is for time lapse mode, GPS mode and auto. So I normally like to use the GPS mode that is for uh, triggering by distance. So uh, normally, you know, you can always calculate from here what exactly uh, the value you want to put here. So I like to take my images from 120 meters of altitude and have an overlap of about 80%. So if I calculate, I get this. So I can just uh, put this uh, particular value that is 22.4 meters. And uh, over here, I would prefer 23 meters actually. And this is it. So after this, I can go to this particular setting, enable, disable what uh, cameras I want to use. Uh, I normally like to use NIR and RGB. And then I can press start. That is it. So uh, after doing all this, I like to disable the Wi-Fi on my Sequoia before I start taking my flight. Uh, just to avoid interference, I don't think it really is going to have any kind of interference. But just to be on a safer side, I think. I hope you like this. Take care, happy flying.